Hello YouTube. I wanted to come to you today with a story and this one is from CNET, CNET.com. Uh, 5G is capable of so much more. So I recommend people read this article. It's kind of, it'll give you a pretty good insight of what's going on with the 5G capabilities. But I wanted to add a little bit of extra commentary on top of it because the conversation I have with people and basically, and this is not clickbaity, I don't want to say that, but I don't think quite people, everybody quite understand how important 5G is for this generation. So if you don't know what the 5G is, for the most part, it's the fifth generation version of cellular networks. So overall, you know, you got, you know, 2G, 3G, 4G. And for the most part, people call on the phone. Now you texting. Now you, you know, emailing on the run, different little things that you do. But is 5G really what you think that you might need? I think so. And the reason why is because there's a secret 5G war going on in the background. Now, why do you ask or why do you not think that this war is going on? Because the 5G war is happening directly in front of you. So now that we have consolidated some of the cellular co companies down, there's another one coming up. Uh, that's Dish, but they're not fully fleshed out yet but now there's three major competitors on the market right now which is verizon at&t and t-mobile and they're going to be fighting fusely for your business i mean deals on deals on deals you know hey our network is better you should come over here we're going to pay off your phone the wars gets heating up and it's only going to get more intense as we start approaching, you know, parity with 4G, we've already hit a mark. I did a report on it uh, about a week ago where all the cell phones that's being sold today are all 5G phones now. So you, there's no phones being sold that are 4G. Now, they're 4G capable, but they're not 4G only. So now these networks... Are getting to the place where they're going to be doing way more and how is it how important this is to you i think that you know you're going to have you know gaming possibilities and sensor possibilities and you know augmented reality possibilities all these different things are starting to come but 5g overall should not be dismissed as oh well it's just another g because opportunities are starting to arise and this is just for the consumer from my point of view the consumer is about to start winning big time as these networks start getting built out more so they're already hitting the ground running right now you know not to bore you with the you know the major details but you know, Verizon is, is is falling behind a little bit because they haven't had any competition. at and is somewhere in the middle and T-Mobile is coming up fast. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, if you talk to other people in the industry, they might think differently. But I think that, you know, three major carriers versus four, five, or six, I don't think that that's going to work. But three major carriers right now, sweet spot. But you're talking about like right now, so 5G at home or on your wheels or on the wheels. So 5G embedded in everything on your car, in the road, in your house. One of the bigger things is, especially right now, that's starting to shoot up more is home Internet. So 5G in the home, being able to replace your DSL if you're on DSL or let's say that you're on cable but you don't like your cable company which some reports have said that hey cable companies might be feeling the pinch 
5G is being very disruptive there too. I talked with a customer today in my car because I do Uber and he's thinking about switching his whole family to Comcast, uh, Comcast Internet and the phone service. So the cable companies are getting into the phone business. The, these things are starting to heat up. There's more options. People want better deals. Um, but 5G is being embedded everywhere. You know, in your clothing. It's, this is where it's heading at. This is where it's heading to. Now, Google did a um, press conference. I think it was in June or July. No, June. And they introduced this where you got 5G built into your glasses. You know, AR, AR and VR is going to be taking taking advantage of these things. So overall, I wanted to say that, hey, you know, the 5G is the future. But if you are looking to get a better deal, take advantage of what these carriers are offering. I know that, you know, the T-Mobile people or people who don't think T-Mobile's you know, doing anything, but they're lighting a fire underneath of Verizon and AT&T because the competition is real now. It, they're, they're taking customers away. People are leaving. People are realizing that, hey, I can get a better deal somewhere else. Take advantage. That's my thing. You know, take advantage of what's going on. They're, they're paying off your phones. If you have a phone that's bought through the carrier, take advantage of it. You get a full, you get a full phone, and you switch carriers. You can get, you might end up getting on a better network, regardless of whatever network you find that is uh, good for you. But this is the best time right now because five G is being embedded in everything and everywhere. So I just wanted to, you know, have this conversation. Thank y'all for watching, and see you next time.